Hello YouTube friends and fans. Today I'm going to use two of the prior tools I showed you. Let's get started. What I'm doing here today, you notice this has a hole in it. These are a tube for blowing up a bag at work for an air gun. And we had a manufacturer send us one before and I don't know why they didn't buy it at work but it has a hole back here it will actually inflate it'll draw extra air pressure and blow up the bag faster so that's what we're going to do is add the extra holes in the back I like the most about the step drill bit is it puts a nice bevel. There you have it. Two sets of holes. I won't bore you with the second one, but I will show you my other three Harbor Freight tools. These two tools are a Harbor Freight product made by Chicago Electric, made by Central Machining. Of course, that's a belt sander if you don't know. And this is an oscillating multifunction cutting tool or sander. These are really good for undercutting a door frame if you're going to lay new flooring or cutting out an outlet. They are just super, super easy. This is the second one I've owned, and the only reason I got rid of, I didn't get rid of the first one, but there are four pins on this head that the cutting head sits on, and one of the pins fell out. You'll be able to see that notch I cut in that. It works way faster on drywall, but like I say, it's a great tool to have. You can buy heads for it that will 
buy the multiple types of heads here. This is probably one of the best cutting heads here. I've got the ones that have teeth all the way around. They're okay, but that works the best. That would be for like grout. And that's good for sanding wood or something to that effect. If you had like a spot on the floor, I mean, it's really aggressive. This was the first generation. You can see how they've streamlined and made it more compact, way more ergonomic in your hand. So, if you don't have one, you should have it. These run about 20 bucks, and there's no sense of paying the big markup at Home Depot, Lowe's. I've had this well over. Well, this thing's probably almost 20 years old, guys. At least 15, I know that for a fact. Now on to the belt sander. If you're a hobbyist, it's great. I mean, it's obviously their stuff is not commercial, but if you were to buy commercial grade sanding belts, they would work absolutely fine. So I've replaced this guy once. This unit's probably, I think it's 10 years old. Let me show you how well it works. If you plug it in, it works even better. As you can tell, it works really nice. I only use it maybe two to three times a year. And I'm pretty rough with metal on it, even. So, I'll show you a kid's derby car that we made. There's this derby car we made. You can go back and watch the video. I've got a... Uh, Nice little piece that we put together the day you raced. But that sanded on here. I don't know if you can see the lines in it. We just rounded it over. So, not bad quality for what you get. There's a little osculating tool. It's under 20 bucks. And you look in some of your flyers and newspapers. You'll get a $20, 20% off coupon, and you get your free item. You got all kinds of different free items you can get. Pay attention. Get you a nice free item for that purchase. And my last item that I'm going to show you is this compound miter saw. I've had mine now for 15 years, and for the price, I cannot beat it. So, let me show you in action. Like I said, so far from Harbor Freight, this is my favorite tool. The only thing that has changed on the tool from the day I bought it is the fact that this handle had to be replaced because I dropped it during a move and it uh, got ran over on the highway. I literally watched it happen in the rear view mirror. The other... The other thing that doesn't work on this unit, it has a laser in the back. It, uh, I don't know, remember if it got hit or what the deal was, but it never worked since day one. As you saw, this will cut 2x4 upright, no problem. Let me show you what it'll do for a 6x6. You have to bring it out and get past the guard, but it will cut it, no problem. 
We add another piece of wood in there so you can see the whole gap. I can easily get through a six by six. Well, friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if uh, anything else you want to see, let me know in the comments. I will try to help you out. I own quite a few different tools and will give you as much information as I possibly can. Thanks for watching.